Victor Dare joins me live from the trading desk now. Vic, let me throw you a curveball and start with this because uh, we were talking about it and alluding to it with Mark Leibovitz. How are the markets pricing the presidential election? Hillary wins. Oh, okay. There, in a nutshell, Hillary's going to win. Is it overwhelming? Is it slight or what? By, uh, I'd say at the moment the pricing in the market is she is going to win and it's going to be uh, a significant or a, a real victory. Yeah. Uh, and let me throw to the Federal Reserve. I was talking to Mark that how important the central banks have been. What's the market saying right now about an interest rate hike in December? Uh, 65 to 70 percent chance that uh, they will raise rates by a quarter of a point in December. Interesting stuff. Let's get to what you're doing in the markets right now. Uh, the bottom line, uh, given the presidential election, uh, then you weigh that against the Federal Reserve. Where do you stand on the U.S. dollar? Uh, we're five years into a bull market in the U.S. dollar. <clears throat> uh, I've maintained uh, long positions in the U.S. dollar here. I am uh, long of the U.S. dollar index against a basket of currencies. I'm also net short of the Canadian dollar, the euro dollar, and the Australian dollar. I'm looking for the U.S. dollar to keep going higher. With the Canadian in particular, we closed at a six-month low here this week. Um, Canada in the last week or so was unable to get any lift from this uh, 16 percent rally we had in WTI, which normally you would have thought Canada would do better. Uh, I think if crude starts to slip back lower here, and I do think it will, that that will put more pressure on Canada. And in conjunction with what you and Ozzy were saying about the possible slowdown in the construction real estate market we've seen in Canada, I think we could see Canada below 70 cents if that uh, comes to play. Yeah, I think it's a great point you're making about uh, when you watch how a market reacts to a piece that was otherwise very good news for the Canadian, which would be the rise in, in oil, and yet it didn't react. That's, I think that's a big negative also. But let me get, I've got to get two more in on you here, Vic. What's your position on crude? I know that you were establishing short positions when it was around $49, $50, going back a uh, you know, month and right. a half. Where do you stand now? Is it p pounds above 50? Uh, the uh, crude oil market, too, we were getting short mid-August. Uh, prices dropped down to around $44. At that time, uh, I thought we'd see crude continue to lower below $40. We had the surprise announcement uh, from OPEC, uh, and that plus uh, some declines in American inventories, perhaps also some input from the, the fear of the hurricanes. Has taken gold, back, or rather WTI, back above fifty dollars. We've used the rally above fifty dollars to uh, add to our short positions. We think uh, WTI goes lower. And what about gold? You must have been really happy. I know that you've been short gold. You've told us on this program around the thirteen fifty mark. Uh, you know, you must have been happy with this drop. Are you, I, have you closed out that position, or are you still no. looking for more? No, uh, we've been short gold because we saw a massive uh, buildup of speculative long, uh, like buyers, uh, when gold rose from the December lows up into the July highs. Uh, like paper gold long positions on COMEX were the largest ever in history. And I thought the market was vulnerable. And uh, once we broke through $1,300 here uh, earlier this week, uh, in gold down nine days in a row, we've got some price points. And I think if it, if it continues to work lower, we'll have more selling. We've seen maybe 20% of those speculative long positions liquidated. I think the market is still vulnerable, so we, we remain short. You're going to have a happy you've, – you've had a very good week in these markets. You're going to have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, go out and have one, Vic. Mike, uh, you too. Best wishes to you and your family for a great weekend.